Hi Glam Fam, this is Jonesy Thompson making a little video for you about deodorant. Uh, you might have seen a post that I did recently on social media saying for a minute I'm going to back off of some of the beauty videos because I injured my wrist really bad. I'm not wearing the brace right now just so it won't distract from what we're talking about. But this is an opportunity to do a series that I've been thinking about for like a year and a half. TMI. A TMI series talking about things that a lot of people don't want to talk about. Okay? And deodorant is one of those things people don't talk a whole lot about. We know that there are ingredients in traditional deodorant that potentially we should be avoiding the aluminum derivatives and all of that. Am I saying that right? Is it derivatives, compounds, things with aluminum? We shouldn't be using because they're linked to breast cancer and Alzheimer's. You can disagree with me on this if you want. I'm not citing any particular study, but from what I understand, those have been linked by credible sources and there probably are other health problems associated with that. There's also a likelihood of parabens in your product and fragrance, and those are hormone interrupters, especially for women, and especially for women who are prone to that, like myself. So, might want to think about a different route of deodorant. And I'm going to talk about the effectiveness of the stink factor with these, okay? I've tried quite a few different kinds, more than I can even name. I wish I'd been documenting from the beginning all the different ones. I'm just gonna own my quirkiness right now and let you know that I've tried a lot of different natural deodorants, that I'm not opposed to having stinky pits sometimes just to try the experiment. I like trying new things. I like trying to do the healthy thing. So here are a few that you might wanna check out. Okay, one I tried a long time ago. It smells really good. The effectiveness is eh. Alba's Apricot deodorant, you find that in natural food stores, smells really good, and for a while it will stay really nice. Okay, that's one. I have some visuals for you coming up. Hold on just a second. Tom's of Maine, really popular natural brand for toothpaste, deodorant, so many home products, home toiletries, and those type things come from Tom's of Maine. My impression of the Thompson Main deodorant just it just didn't do a whole lot for me but that's been years ago admittedly I should probably try that again body shop like the store that's in the mall that carries lotions and potions had deodorant I'm not positive if they still carry it but the ones that they did there was like a citrusy one I would rate that one like out of five I'd probably give that like a three and a half out of five stars it was on an effectiveness level, pretty good. And it smelled really nice, blended with body smells. That's the thing, a lot of times they have to blend with your body smells as well. So then, recently, this is one of my more recent ones, Schmidt's deodorant, and they have a few different scents. This one's bergamot lime, okay? And it smells really good. I'm obsessed with bergamot, so I really love it. On an effectiveness scale, probably like three out of five. It's okay. It's pretty decent. I'm talking about, on the scale of five, I'm talking effective on a day of 100 degree heat index like we've been having in Alabama the past few days. This is not going to do it for me. Okay. But other times it might. Okay. And this is from Lush, the store. If you don't have one, I love the concept. They fresh make quite a few potions in store. They, I believe, hand make the deodorant. It comes in a bar like this, and I've been keeping mine in a little latched mason jar. And it has a patchouli, this one particular one has patchouli scent. I like it in the bar, like I sniff it and mm-hmm, I like the smell. When I put it on, it just smells like additional body odor to my own smell. I'm sorry, Lush, I love your store and I love your concept, but that deodorant, no, no, not for me. Maybe other body chemistries will blend better, not mine. You've probably seen this even in mainstream drugstores. I'm seeing it in, I think, even Walmart and Target, Walgreens, CVS. This is showing up everywhere, and there's a good reason. This has been around a long time. It's the Crystal Body Deodorant Stick. No aluminum, 
chlorohydrate. So it has some aluminum ingredient, but apparently not the one. It's potassium alum natural mineral salts. But it comes in a solid crystal, and you just barely get it a little bit wet and rub it under your underarms. Of all the natural deodorants that I have so far tried in my life, this one is the most effective. I give it four or so out of five. It is, and it's not to say I will never perspire, but when I do, it doesn't have a smell. And I kind of think of it like in the old days when they salt cured meat to keep it from going bad. I think it's similar, like your body can't doesn't grow that bacteria because the salt is on you. And so out of all the natural deodorants, now they this company and some other companies make roll-ons and maybe even solids that still have the salt but are fragranced. For me personally, they didn't keep me as dry as just the plain old rock. You can get it even in a travel size now, I've noticed. You can get it in a travel size. I And this lasts for ever forever I've had this I can't even remember when I bought it it's probably been two years ago and I use it pretty frequently now here's where I'm gonna totally level with you and be completely honest that is that when we're in middle of the summer hot temps I do go back to traditional antiperspirant and it's probably not the best idea health wise but I feel like if we can at least minimum our exposure to those chemicals that are in regular deodorant, if we minimize that, then our bodies will be healthier in the long run. So I don't condone it. I don't think it's necessarily a great idea to use traditional deodorant, but I'm just saying in the middle of summer, you might not want to be my best friend if I haven't used some. And I'm just not, I'm not willing to smell myself. I'm just not. I feel like I would be willing to reapply, maybe clean myself and reapply if that would work. But in the heat of the summer, if I'm outside, I am not going to do it. I'm going to use antiperspirant. So most months of the year, though, this is my friend or this is my friend. And I might alternate. Sometimes after I use this, I might even apply directly a little bit of lavender to my underarms just because I like lavender and give it a little fragrance. So I might do that after this is dried. Those are my thoughts on natural deodorant. One more, Piper Way, which was featured on Shark Tank as one of the inventions on there. My bestie swears that she loves it. And I'm sure it is great. And I'm gonna say for my friends who use natural deodorant, I probably know who you are though. And you probably know that I do. So we're not fooling anybody yet. Like the natural science hasn't quite caught up with the bad chemicals. We probably all know who each other are who are using these natural things. So make your choices wisely. Keep your health in mind. Know the risk though before you use just the traditional products. You should know those things. So thanks so much for checking this out. If you have a natural deodorant that you love, please recommend it in the comments. Or if you have a recipe, maybe you make your own at home with the oils or baking soda, cornstarch, or clay or I've seen a bunch of different recipes, let me know. Link it up if you have a blog post or something like that that I can look at. I appreciate it. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Check out Inside Out Glamour or jonesythompson.com, same site, uh, for more info. Thanks.